when you stop living according to the flesh and according to this, this original me was first and foremost spirit. When we stop living according to the flesh and according to the spirit, we come alive. How do we do that? Because the law of life in Christ Jesus penetrates the flesh and brings this guy fully alive. And when we live according to this living being called the original us, the spirit of us, it overtakes the flesh. Here's what I've seen happen so much in Christianity. We try to beat our flesh into submission. Has anybody been on a diet lately? You try so hard to not eat sugar or to not eat whatever it is that you shouldn't eat. And it, has anybody ever found out that's hard to do? Yeah. Really hard to do. You can win a battle that way, but I'll promise you, all you're really doing, according to Paul, is you're caging a tiger. Because you're doing just what the law tried to do. You're trying to make someone righteous from the outside. Can't do it. You will not be able to do it. The only way that a man or a woman begins to live according to the law of God is if you empower something on the inside and cause that thing to do this. And you, what you do is you punch holes in this. And before long, the life that has been feeding original me is growing, and you get cracks in this fleshly armor, and then I'm using the wrong colors, and then life begins to emanate out of this. And this is what Jesus came to do. He came to cut, set you free from the law of sin and death that, wa that wages war in your members, and it causes this guy to rise up, pushing out the flesh, and then you and Jesus are one. And we walk in the victory that we were made to walk in. Amen? Amen? Amen. All right.